Hey guys, Lucky here, and today I'm going to show you how to create an audio spectrum in After Effects. If you've seen our Paramore vlog or any free music channel, it's those waves that react to the music. But before we get started, make sure to leave a like below if you enjoy videos like this, and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Lastly, follow us on social media such as Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first thing we're going to do is right click here in the project space and create a new composition. I usually like to make my compositions for things like this 4K so I have the freedom to scale it down if I need to afterwards. I'm going to do 60 FPS for a smoother look and make the duration longer than we actually need because we can choose how much of the composition we want to render afterwards. Next go down here in the comp, right click and create a solid. Keep it the same size as your comp and make the color black or any color of your choice really. Black is just the easiest color to key out when rendering. Now go to the right here and type in audio spectrum. Drag it onto the solid and go into your effects controls. Now in your effects controls we can customize the audio spectrum look. Import your song or music into the comp. Over here in the audio layer select your song. So the frequency is what range the audio spectrum reacts to. If you want to just cover mostly bass, we can have it end on like 500. But if you want to cover higher tones, you can do like 3000 to 4000. For this demo, let's just do 2000. Next, the frequency bands are how many lines we want. I'm going to put 150. For the maximum height, we'll do 2500. Now remember, you can customize these settings however you like. Play around with it to get the look that satisfies you the most. I'm going to leave the audio duration, offset, and thickness the same. For softness, I like it at 100%. So here we can select the color of the spectrum. Let's do some green and blue. Now if you want a spectrum of colors for this hue interpolation, do something like 270 degrees. The more degrees you put in, the more variation of colors there will be. These two checkboxes here control the color look of your spectrum. The dynamic hue phase controls whether the colors keep changing or not. So if you want your colors to be static, uncheck it. Color symmetry keeps the color symmetrical. I like both of these checked, so I'm just going to leave it. For the display options, we can change the look of the lines to analog lines or analog dots. The side options allows you to choose which side you want the spectrum to be, the top, bottom, or both. I don't use duration averaging since it averages out everything which isn't all too exciting to be honest. And that's basically it on how to create an audio spectrum. Definitely make sure to adjust and play around with these settings to find the best fit. As a bonus tip, if you want to change the shape of the spectrum, go to the shape tool here and draw one of the shapes. Then go to the path in your settings and select that mask. Now your spectrum is the shape of your mask. So that's it for this Adobe After Effects tutorial. Tell me in the comments below what you think the next tutorial should be. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos in the future. And as always, take my words with a grain of rice.